Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and this is an easier, better way to take a Game Boy cart and without soldering, change the battery so it's nice and interchangeable like that. Okay. Now the too long didn't watch method of it is you have a chisel tip blade a lightweight hammer and you just tap a tap a tap a that's it okay <clears throat> now for the whole shebang what you will need first you'll need some type of safe static free area to work in you will need the cart you're going to do this on appropriate screwdrivers to get into said cart lightweight style hammers or hammer a chisel tip blade of sorts or a crafts blade sometimes and that's it optionally you can have cups to store items in and cleaning supplies such as cute cotton swabs and isopropyl alcohol okie dokie so now at this point we're gonna do the the full length thing uh, no movie magic to show you just um, how aggravating it can or cannot be okay and as I mentioned that the only movie magic I have done already is pre-open the screw to this Game Boy Advance. Now, for Nintendo, let's see, going up real close. Nope. You look real close. Let's get a focus. That is not a Phillips head. It is a tri-wing. So you need a special screwdriver for it, for it. You can purchase it from your local internet monopoly. Okay, so. Now this is just basic screwdriving. The first the first uh, turn it usually is the most difficult, and afterwards it just comes off. But I've pre-opened this, so it's a lot easier. All right, now to open the case, put it in front, slide down, and then you lift up. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so you can take out the case. Uh, it's not really complex, and we want to change this. Okay, so as mentioned before. <clears throat> I've seen in other videos is that they recommend taking a crafts knife, so exacto blade, and they go off and they just do it manually, and it just it's horrifying to watch. I know. I'm pretty sure the fact that I'm not using gloves and rubber also is horrifying. But instead of mucking about with soldering, um, we're going to deal with the actual joints of the tabs, and these are welded on. Now, again, if you go to your local um, internet monopoly store and you search chisel tip exacto blade or chisel tip crafts knife you'll get something like this so we want a square edge very thin okay and although I've used this the the fresher the better you could probably even use a razor blade but that's a bit more difficult but you'll see and then lightweight hammer so this hammer here is also from the online store, which is a from a watchmaker's kit. So it's lightweight, but it still does the tool of a hammer. And here, this is like a, oh, well, it's a gimmick um, kind of hammer kit where it unscrews. I'm not going to uh, vary screws and whatnot, but it is lighter weight than a full-blown carpenter hammer. Uh, you might also see these type of things, this type of hammer in shoe, uh, shoe repair kits and whatnot but we're going to use the same principles as a hammer <clears throat> okay so to use a hammer properly is it's basically a lever and everybody kind of knows what a lever is you know it has a weight fulcrum blah 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 but if you hold it tight to the head there's not a lot of force if you hold it at the edge you get more force and this little tool allows the force to travel down and onto the spot we want. So instead of being so close to the battery, we have a lot more room 
to do this in. Okay. Now, now the tricky part because I'm hunched over this camera. So we have the battery fully off. We want to have it nice and flush, perpendicular, or not perpendicular, parallel to the game. So I'm just kind of finding a spot. All right, it's there, it's flat. And then we tap a tap a tap a. And it's a lot safer to try to hit a hammer here than force it manually with my thumb and actual force of my uh, strength instead of using tools. So tap a tap a tap a. There we go. Just a few tapas. Already went. Uh, you can't see. A few tapas. We already went a couple of millimeters. It's nicely wedged in there. So we just. Okay, so again, I'm using proper technique, holding at the head. Um, I'm not using any of my, most of my strength. It's just, I'm letting gravity kind of do the work. So I'm just letting the hammer drop. And if that isn't enough, um, I add a little tiny force, but you can see this is a lot quicker, a lot safer than, than um, having it at your knife. Okay, so God went there all the way in. Or nearly all the way. Yep, all the way in. Okay. No soldering. No, no, uh, no worry about cracking um, the disc or anything. Now I'm going to take this away so I can wedge it properly because I'll need to see this. And I just want to be right back. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay, there you are. Okay, I don't need to take it all the way. I just need to put it here. In this case, I just need to put it here on the battery edge. So just wave it and tap a tap a tap a. Yeah, just a light tap and bam, look. Light tap went right underneath the, already in between the battery. So, all right, let me watch out for here or just in general, you know. And just, uh, all right, tap a tap a tap a. Almost out. kind of okay the the thing is uh, kind of wiggling about because it's not there on the top it's only there on the bottom all right and all right okay is it all the way off almost it's spinning yep I think it's off there we go Aha. so there we go no solder, no horrible fear of breaking the cart with uh, my thumb or whatever. It was very easy just to use these two things. And now, as you can see, it's um it's better than just soldering and resoldering with a replacement kit. So, in your online Monopoly store, you can buy the battery tabs that are already um, with the pre-tab on it. Um, so you can solder it off and solder it back on, but the problem is that this size and shape doesn't ma necessarily match this. But now, since it's free there, and also it's using the original solder, so depending on who made this, this is really good. Here's a free, free open battery. I'm just gonna remove this. Well, actually, no. I could just I could do the exact same principle of removing the tabs here and sliding it on instead of having to purchase. Okay, so um. Let's see, when you are changing the batteries, you want to pay attention to uh, some more details. All right, can we get a focus? Okay, focus. Okay, well, anyways. Around here, if you can see, oh, no, wait. there you go. That's a little plus sign. And over here, there's a little minus sign, but anyways. You pay close attention to the board, and it'll say the positive and the negative sign. So, plus on this side. So, this tab over here, actually, I shouldn't touch it. This over here is the positive. This over here is the negative. And with these wash batteries, there is a positive side and a negative side. I have to look to see them. So, that's, let me double check. Um, I don't think this is labeled. Oh, dear. 
Well, it should be similar to this in which one side's flat, the other side's fuzzy. Okay. This is the positive side, this is the negative side. So the positive side needs to touch this, and then the negative side needs to touch that. And voila. Okay. And it fits. Now this is sliding around a little bit. I'm pretty sure if I put this thicker one, it won't as much. Okay. Well. Okay, this is tighter. All right, so uh, that wasn't quite a good as job as I did with other things. But when this is in the case, this is going to squeeze flat on top of it, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Also, when doing batteries, you will notice that this one from the store has rubber around it. Okay? Positive, negative side, you can have a static shock from the top to the bottom. That's what this rubber is um, protecting against. And many uh, guides recommend that you just take some electrical tape, uh, make a thin strip, wrap it around, and put it there. Okie dokie, and to show you, okay, it did the trick. I'm just going to put this back in. And also at this point, if you cared, you know, since it's open, you would take your cleaning supplies and brush this all up and whatnot. So, okay. All right, so put it down, jank it up, pop it into the Game Boy. I can shake, well, I'll do the, I'll do the shake test later. And it works, okay? It uh, reset the game. Uh, unfortunately, with many times, it will. It may reset the save, it may reset the clock, and sometimes you will have to restart your, you, you know, you'll lose everything or you have to restart your files or maybe the game has an option for it. Um, it's a case-by-case -case basis for each game, so. All right, and as I said before, I'll show you the shake test. Going up here and shake, okay. No rattling, just having the thickness of the case is preventing it from moving. Maybe if I drop it, it'll slide it out or whatnot, but opening up a, opening up this and just kind of readjusting it in an emergency is um, not as half bad as, you know, the soldering. Okay, so until next time, I am Tiro, and have fun hacking uh, your pro hardware. See ya.